Hello. <laughs> get my picks. Get the comment page open. My name's Tony Furtado. Good to see you all out there. I was originally going to be doing this show with my good friend Johnny Connolly. Um, really amazing button accordion player from Dublin. And he used to live here in Portland. Um, and he was visiting here. And uh, he was possibly exposed to COVID. So he had to cancel, unfortunately. So best wishes to him. And next time he comes to town, we promise to do one of these shows together. So um, today's show is partially made possible by Deering Banjos. And I'll talk about them a little bit later. Good friends. Um, let me know that you're seeing the, the stream. I'd love to know. It's always a nice thing. I'm waiting for just a couple comments to come in to make sure that it is happening out there. And also I gotta figure out which instrument to play first. I got a whole array behind me. Um, I don't know if you can see them. I'm kind of covering some of them. Um, a little sip. Maybe the guitar, huh? My out of tune guitar. Ah, what an interesting week it's been. We're going to go to the snow tomorrow. Romp around, do a little, uh, little sledding, snowshoeing. Probably don't need to see this tip jar right now. Sorry about that. Maybe I'll just make that go away for now. We don't need that yet. Go back to the chat screen hey all right looking good ready to roll tony coming in clear good to hear charlie butterfield looking good all right marvin can see and hear everything but the accordion i know did you hear why golden is always a winner all right i could start off with that um slide down. I could start off with Golden Happily. I wrote Golden down here in this basement actually. Hey Christine and Robert. You're here from Portland about a mile from Squirrelville. Yes you are. I gotta fix your sculpture there at your house. Gotta set up a date. Let me know if you guys want to hear anything in particular. And like I said, Johnny Connolly was supposed to be here, but he had to uh, postpone his appearance at Squirrelville due to a possible COVID exposure at his job. So he apologizes, I apologize, but we will connect again. Pardon me if I'm a little rusty tonight, but you can help me by Give me some comments and requests. That helps the energy. Okay? Spinning past your shadow, 
lost in wasting days I rush the open window Fly me from this place For the last time All these white lines Watch them as they fade Are you golden? Broken moments They can't make me stay They can't make me stay Like a whisper in the morning Watch you fade away Are you golden, broken moments? They can't make me stay They can't make me stay I see some requests coming in. Let me double back here. Hey, Ed and Paula, you want to hear Firecracker? I'll get that in there. Yeah, that'd be fun. Hazel comes home. Sure, Tina. Got it. A gen Marvin, a gentleman is someone who can play the accordion but doesn't. Oh, ouch. Sounding great, Tony. Share the Facebook and YouTube links on Facebook. It's all I ask. <laughs> Thanks. Christine. Robert says he always loves to hear Paradise. Hmm, that could be nice. Stephanie Mitchell, hey. Some of Shelly's flues, that could be nice. Yes, okay. This is the way to do it. You guys are coming up with some good requests. I'm going to do Hazel Comes Home. Um... <laughs> banjo tunes I wrote. And I'll follow it with something else. Maybe something more bluesy. I'm not sure what that is.
I fumbled through it some more you know it's like one of those things you, you you go into a place and you take a road down it's like oh it's not that road oh it's not that road not that road hmm let's double back and try again so I ended up I was trying to follow up Hazel comes home with uh, one of my tunes called Portlandia but my fingers wouldn't have it so I switched gears and I did one uh, that I wrote called Bods of Euphony so um, let me check in with the comments here. Any more, any more suggestions for tunes? You just keep them coming. I love seeing these. Uh, we were watching Rising Appalachian, but we made it. You did, Dale. Good to see you here. Um, so good. How about Peggy O? And or some tunes from the new album. Sure. Where's Squirrelville in Mississippi? Nope. Portland, Oregon. <laughs> Squirrelville is called Squirrelville because there's a big giant... I've told this story, but I'll tell it again. There's a giant uh, walnut tree right outside our house that we figure was... An arborist told us it was planted there um, probably by a squirrel that was trying to hide a nut. 40 years ago because no one in their right mind would put such a big walnut tree right by the foundation 
right here in Portland. Um, good stuff. Thank you. Awesome. Hello from Livermore. Thanks, Roy. Kelly loves to hear Cyp Cypress Oh, California. Love to hear Cypress Grove. That could be fun. All right. This is great. Hey, Rick Morris. Sounds amazing, brother. Thank you, man. Good to see you here. Tina, yay. We'd love to hear Peggy. Oh, that's two for Peggy. All right. Sound is amazing. Keep it up. Two girls are amazed. Six and eight. All right. Great tune before bed. <laughs> Charlie, you want to hear Bolinas? Okay. These are all rolling around in the, in the gas tank. The gas tank? Um, you know, speaking of banjos, I just want to uh, give the shout out to Deering Banjos right now. In fact, let me get this over with here because I would like to say a few words about these folks. They're good people and they've got some good products. First thing I would like to mention is the fact that sometimes I get asked uh, what a good banjo, what good banjo would be. <laughs> Can I, here, let's try that again. Sometimes I get the question, what would be a good beginning level banjo? And I have always, um, always said a Deering Good Times banjo. And I'm going to show you one right here. Here's one right there. That's a Deering Good Times banjo. I'll scoot over here. Uh, they're wonderful instruments. If you're wanting to actually learn, they have different levels of these too. They're, it's a great price for getting into playing the banjo. They, you always want to make sure that the banjo is going to stay in tune and it's easy to play and it sounds decent. You're going to get that from Deering because they're, they're such quality instruments. And if you want to up level to a pro level uh, model of banjo, they do that too. So there's your Deering Good Times banjo. Um, I was going to show you, there's their website. Check them out. And tonight, I get to give away two of these beautiful Deering t-shirts to a lucky winner. And I think what I'm going to do, I think what I'm going to do, I'll think of something here. Just know that we're going to, I'm going to come up with something that's going to, that's going to get us a couple of winners for the t-shirts. Think of some way to, over the next, the next uh, tune here, I'll figure it out, okay? Um, <laughs> any suggestions for a way to get the contest through? Rakish Patty, Jenny's wedding. Ooh, thanks, Josh. Just tuning in in case you already did something like that. I haven't yet. I'm going to go back to the guitar first. Um, Ed and Paula want to hear uh, Firecracker. And I usually like to put Firecracker in the middle of a song I wrote called um, Give Me Your Soul. And I wrote Firecracker for a movie that was put out called uh, Wrestling with Iowa. Right? I believe that's what it's called. Um, I wrote a few songs for that movie, and um, this was the, one of the main characters' theme songs, basically. So I'll do a little bit of uh, the other song first and then go into Firecracker. How's that sound? Give me a 
What's the name of this one? Uh, the, the vocal song was called Give Me Your Soul, and the instrumental is called Firecracker. Some cello banjo would be nice. Yeah, that'd be fun. Love your slide. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> Thanks, Paula. She says, oh my god, that was awesome. Um, another one for Jenny's Wedding Rakish Patty. Whew. Stephanie Mitchell said, me, me, assuming you're talking about the t-shirts. Um, all right, so how can we give these two t-shirts away? Um, I don't want to do it on banjo knowledge, because I want people who don't play the banjo to also be eligible. So, um, going to think. Next, next, next song. I'll think it over the next song. I'm going to do a banjo thing. 
Um, shall it be the cello banjo, maybe? <laughs> tunes here. Actually, no, I won't. I'm going to do one song. It's going to be Greenheart from the new album. So we got the cello banjo and we got uh, a tune from the new album. So that's two requests right there. I love it when I can actually do the request. cello banjo it might be back it might be back let me see who else is tuning in here that's actually a manjo do I win a shirt oh you're pushing Stephanie you're really trying I swear I'm gonna come up with a way to win these <laughs> Nicole Elmore Nikki Elmore it's good to see you here um, and you got in okay now it's letting me watch that's good I'm glad um, Charlie that's an awesome cello banjo piece. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Um, any other requests? Looking. Okay. So, how can we give away these two t-shirts? I'm going to show you the t-shirts again. Um, Where is it? 
I'm not much of a TV producer here. T-shirt. Is this it right here? Yes, there it is. So I got a couple of these to give away from the Deering Banjo Company. Awesome folks over there. Um, the first two people that tell me, tell me how many strings my banjo has on it win. How's that? First two comments I see in my chat screen here. How many strings does my banjo have on it? <laughs> it's the best I could come up with. I'm going to look. Waiting for it. <gasps> All right. The two answers I see are Corky and Paul. Corky Corson and Paul Figueroa. Now you got to figure out how to get me your addresses. You just got to text me somehow. Go to my go to my Facebook or do it through YouTube. Uh, do it privately somehow. Um, in fact, I'll give you my email address right here, okay? Just send me an email. You listening? Here's my email address. Tony Furtado and the number five. See how well that ties in? Five. You guys are all putting in five. I love it. Tony Furtado 5 at gmail.com. That's right to me, okay? So the two winners are Corky, and I'm going to remember this. Corky Corson and Paul Figueroa. Cool? You guys get t-shirts. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for playing the game. All my, all my regulars are like, a little bit late. Someone put in four. Someone put in six. Stephanie, you tried so hard. Um... So, I'm going to go back to these uh, requests. Also, oh, I think I need to do this. But which banjo? All of them are for our five-string banjo. All my banjos I ever play are five-string banjos. Don't you have ones with different counts? I'm curious. No, I don't. Not me. I think he must be looking at another stream because he has it on three sites. We're all winners. You're all winners here. <laughs> I'm actually streaming across to like four different sites, but I have it all funneling into one place. I vote for Stephanie. <laughs> all right, so... Um, oh, there was one more thing I was going to do here in case you guys are feeling it. Let's get this t-shirt off the site. Off the, I was about to leave that on there. Um, here's the tip jar back in case you guys are feeling it. Where'd it go? There it is. That's me. Um, let's go back to the guitar. I had a couple requests for some songs on the guitar. Keep those requests coming. And if you're tuning in a little bit late uh, and are curious, where's Johnny Connolly? He was going to be my guest on the show today. Uh, he couldn't come because of a possible COVID uh, exposure. So, <sighs> aren't we ready for that to be done with? Uh, so that whole tour that got canceled in February, by the way, um, we're starting to kind of plug it back into early April. That's going to be a run down to California. And we're just finishing up uh, booking a late February thing that goes to Boise, to Bozeman, over to um, Helena and Spokane, a couple days off, and up to Seattle. So, those dates are up. I'm going to do a song before I do any other requests. I've been wanting to do this one for a while. Um, it's a song I wrote for my mom. It's a song I haven't recorded yet. It's not super new. I call it, I Haven't Lost You. 
basically a song that I wrote for my mom, thinking about uh, my father who passed away about 10 years ago. Does that make sense? Never turn away from the one who holds me sway. Pull me gentle, hold me tight. Stay with me all through the night. Time and time, I feel your touch when this world becomes too much. Words you whisper soft and low. Set my frightened heart aglow Having lost you, my love I feel you all around Having lost you, my love I feel you all around Then together we will lie Into the mystery we'll abide Having lost you, my love I feel you all around Having lost you, my love I feel you all around Cindy, you want to hear Berta? I like doing Berta. Um, I think I did that last week. Home of the Red Fox. I don't know that one. Is that a bluegrass cover? I can't remember. Sounds familiar. Yay for Joy. Joy is my mom. I don't know if she's on here. Mom, are you out there? Uh, where's your mom? She's usually here. Exactly. Maybe she did, couldn't make it tonight. Tuning of Want Your Soul, Oh, Give Me Your Soul. It sounds a little bit like little Leo Kaki. Oh, that's a nice thing to hear. I like that. The tuning is just open D tuning. Capoed up to open D. Come back to New Mexico. Yes, I would like to come back to New Mexico. Sorry about that, folks. Um, we had a couple dates that were possibly going to happen, but didn't work out yet. You know, some... Possibly in the middle of the year. I know I'm going to play the uh, folk festival, the bluegrass and folk festival that happens in Pagosa Springs in early June. Uh, look for that. That'll be fun. Um, I don't know that I can go out to play in Albuquerque or uh, I might be able to go s further south though. Where are you? <laughs> um... Tom Petty, yeah, sure, that was a fun one to do. Mm -hmm. 
Cindy just posted the uh, connection for the uh, festival that's happening in Durango. And I'm sure we're going to book some other shows around that to be in Colorado. How about something a little bit bluesy? Um... seem to like Berta a little bit, so maybe, maybe I'll do that.
Florida. Oh, I'm going to pick up the banjo again. I'm going to double back here and look at some of these comments. Um, Bolinas. Yeah, I'll definitely hit Bolinas next. That'll be fun. Um, Santa Fe or Los Alamos. I used to play Los Alamos. Uh, I used to play there used to play there almost as much as I play Roswell, strangely enough. Um, Rhythms on the Rio is just getting their act together for the end of July, beginning of August. Checking with them. Hey, that's a great idea. I think I played there once. I think. Um, check in with them. Yes, okay. Thanks for the Berta. The automatic captions are pretty funny. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. You got the captions going. Great. Curious what it says. Wow, it doesn't get much. Oh, thank you. Can't hear that song enough. I can. <laughs> when I first started doing Berta, uh, a good friend of mine, Greg Shockett, came up to me um, after I got off stage and he said, Are you singing Oh Hamburger Burger? <laughs> I said, Yeah, I am actually. Um, by the way, we're doing another Thursday Nights Live. Me, Stephanie Schneiderman, our special guest will be the inimitable, what does that word mean? Inimitatable? Uh, Casey Neal, who's a wonderful singer-songwriter. And that's going to be February 10th. And uh, we're working on all the other connections, but uh, tune in then for that. <laughs> going to be uh, Bolinas. I usually do a little warm-up of another tune beforehand, so... Let's see which tune wins. How about a little St. John's Fire beforehand? Um, I recorded St. John's Fire several times. Uh, I think my favorite was with the band that I called the American Gypsies, and it's a live version. Um, I know that the CD is out of print, but you could probably find it digitally. It's a really fun version. It's got Tom Breckline on drums, Myron, ba Myron Dove on bass, Paul McCandless on, I don't know, bass clarinet or something, and uh, John R. Burr on piano. It's so fun. Um, there's another version I did on my second album that Jerry Douglas produced, and it's more of obviously a bluegrassy thing with David Greer and Mark Schatz and some wonderful musicians, uh, just Adam Steffi on mandolin and uh, Stuart Duncan on the fiddle. Um, check that out. So, St. John's Fire into Bolinas. Thank you. 
You know what's funny is uh, partway through I was like, ah, oh, I wish I clipped my f fingernails before I did that. Kept running into a little bit of uh, resistance there, just a little. Um, I'm just gonna do a couple more things here. I'm gonna ch one last bit for Peggy. I better do Peggy. I've had so many requests for it. I'm gonna go back here, check in with it. Yep, I saw that one. Sounded great. Thanks, Cindy. Um, would love to hear Stagger Lee or Rove Riley Rove. I'm pretty sure that basically sure how a banjo should sound. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. One last bit for Peggy Oak. Saw that. Jake! Jake Leatherman, how you doing, buddy? 
Hope to see you up in uh, Montana at the end of February. Are you going to be around? Um, Woohoo, Bolinas. Yes, Tina. <laughs> Did you see that Casey's going to do our next uh, Thursday Night's Live? Jeffrey, sitting in my recliner with my lap steel, trying to play along with you. So many chords. There's a lot of chords, but it's all diatonic, so you should just play D. You should be all right. Um, how about Water Slide? Because I wrote it right there in Montrose, right? <laughs> I did, by the way. Um, you rule, Tony. Smoking jam grass. Thanks, guys. Peggy O. Okay, Scott. You got it. It's on my calendar. You guys both graced our house for house concerts. Yes, we did, Tina. Um, boy, I'm just having so much fun. This is so nice. I feel the love out there. It's really good. Um, how about I get that Peggy O now? Um... And folks have asked, how can you be supportive in this time? I would say tuning in to, uh, to these streams, even if you're just watching and commenting, showing the love, that's great. If you'd like to go another step, you can uh, you do the little tip thing or donate. Or go to my merch page. Here, let me see if I can... Um, I got this new album that comes with, uh, if you want to buy it with a tile, it's got the little pandemic banjo there that I designed. Um, that's on my website or Etsy, among other things, if you want to go check that out. Um, I'm making a new batch of those right now, I'm making some new, uh, the always selling out hazel rabbit i'm in the process of making a few more of those um you know that stuff so here comes peggy o let me get off of this page computer is so distracting but it has to happen <laughs> And I'd marry you, sweet William 
small I would marry you But your guineas are too few I pray my mom would be angry What would your mama think, pretty Peggy O? What would your mama think, pretty Peggy O? What would your mama think, she heard my guineas clink? Saw me marching at the head of my soldiers O. If ever I return, pretty Peggy O. If ever I return, pretty Peggy O. If ever I return your city, I will burn and destroy all the people in the area. Stepping down the stairs, pretty Peggy O. Come stepping down the stairs, pretty Peggy O. Come stepping down the stairs, let down your yellow hair and bid your last farewell to William O. Sweet William is dead, pretty Peggy O. Sweet William is dead, pretty Peggy O. In the Louisiana country, Called her by name, pretty Peggy O. I miss having the fiddle there by my side, but it's fun doing it solo too. <laughs> uh, hey, John Mercer. Yeah, you do have one of my towels. I remember sending that to you. One of my favorite. Oh, thank you. He says, it's awesome and it's cool to have something from one of my favorite musicians that isn't music. <laughs> I like that. Um, how pretty was she? Love that song. Marvin Dawson, a whole bunch of emojis there. Danny, love me some Peggio. It's fun to play. I like doing it. Um, what happened to Johnny Connolly? John, so I mentioned it earlier. Uh, Johnny couldn't make it because of a possible COVID exposure. He texted me yesterday and a job site thing. So he, he, he didn't want to bring it anywhere near my house. And I really appreciate that. And I miss playing with that guy. So I, I really wish we could have done it this time. But uh, we will 
next time he comes in town, we're going to do uh, a stream together. So, um, Doug Follett, thanks so much, Tony. You bet. Scott, life is very good. Thanks. Aww. I'm going to do one more song, you guys. Thank you so much for listening. I've got a whole lot of requests, and that was really nice. I feel the love, and it's such a nice thing. Um, what am I going to wrap up saying? I'm going to tell you that it was really great to uh, do this um, partially sponsored and presented by the Deering folks. Uh, go check them out if you want to... Uh, start to play banjo or if you are a banjo playing banjo player and want to upscale your banjo go check them out they make really amazing instruments I've had a couple of their instruments over the years and uh, there's no questioning the amazing quality of what they do um, and remember to tune in on February 10th I haven't got a fancy thing to flash on that but uh, February 10th, when our guest is Casey Neal for Thursday Nights Live, me and Stephanie Schneiderman. Um, I can't think of much else to say except thank you all for tuning in. Uh, it's been such a pleasure. And we got our two winners for the t-shirts. I'm going to send those uh, contacts to, uh, to Deering if you guys send me that email. Okay? Waiting for guitars. Cindy, are you kidding me? I wish I could. <laughs> I'm going to finish with some uh, John Prine that someone else requested. Oh, there was a comment before that I wanted to address. It was, uh, where was it? Um... Who said it and where is it? There's a lot of comments here and I love that. That's really great. Something about... There it is. Scott Griffin. Moving to Montana soon. Gonna be a dental floss tycoon. Little Frank Zappa there. <laughs> I don't know why I had to go back and dig that up. I'm just glad I knew the reference. <laughs> Hear a funny memory. Uh, one time I played in Montana, and uh, what's that place called? I can't. It's it's outside of Bozeman somewhere. It's a rock and roll festival. Put on. Uh, I can't remember who put it on, but Ted Nugent was there, and uh, <laughs> Joan Jett was there, and Hell's Bells were there. And all these rock bands. And my band. <laughs> this was like almost 20 years ago. It's so funny. I couldn't believe my band <laughs> played there. Here I come with my banjo at the Rock and Roll Festival. There's Ted Nugent out there signing autographs. <laughs> Showing off his gun. Sorry. Did I say that? Um, what was I going to do? Oh, yes. John Prine. So we had a request with John Prine, and uh, I love doing this. It wasn't Missoula, but it was really, it really was cool being part of it. Because I was like, I turned to the band, I was like, we got to rock it up, guys. We got to rock it up. <laughs> I played a little extra electric slide guitar on that show. I remember I had my merch table set up, and uh, it was it was right next to uh, Ted Nugent's um, merch table, and people were just filing past mine, just kind of going, "Oh, what's your stuff? I'm waiting to get uh, Ted to sign this this here book or whatever." <laughs> whatever, it's all good. It wasn't Big Sky. It was uh, Forks, uh, th Three Forks, something Forks.
Alright, you guys sing along, okay? When I was a child, my family would travel Down to western Kentucky, where my parents were born There's a backwards old town, it's often remembered So many times, my memories are worn Oh, and daddy, won't you take me back to Mutenberg County Down by the Green River, where paradise lay I'm sorry, my son, but you're too Everybody's cold train is hauled away. Well, sometimes they travel right down the Green River, the abandoned old prison down by Adrie Hill. Where the air smelled like snakes and we'd shoot with our pistols, but empty pop bottles was all we would kill. County, down by the Green River where paradise lay. I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in asking. Just a wee body's cold train has hauled it away. Then the coal company came with the world's largest shovel They tortured the timber and stripped all the land They dug for their coal till the land was forsaken And rolled it all down as the progress of man Oh, daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County Down by the Green River where paradise lay I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in asking. Mr. Peabody's coal train is called away. When I die, let my ashes float down the Green River. Let my soul roll on up to the Rochester Dam I'll be halfway to heaven, paradise waiting Five miles away from wherever I am Oh, daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County Down by the Green River where paradise lay I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in asking Mr. Peabody's cold train Thanks so much, you guys. Oh, and yes, that was the festival, I think. Three Forks Rock in the River. I think you nailed it. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you next time.